Hello, this is Keith All, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about CSS hover effects and specifically how you could create uh, this um, effect in your web page. It's basically a uh, folding unfolding effect. Um, just think of it as like of a uh, like a shade that you're rolling up a shade in your window. So once I hover over it. It, uh, it uh, collapses the shades and if I take it off it's gonna like think about you rolling up the shade so you're having that folding effect so it's just basic um, if you go to the, my HTML um, index file and I learn a lot of this stuff just to let you know I learn a lot of my stuff through Udemy and through uh, going to YouTube and uh, learning from other people's uh, tutorials and a lot of the tutorials that I'll be doing in the future the ideas actually do come from other places and I note that in the description and in my file so if you want to know where I learn everything just uh, go to the description in this uh, video anyways uh, just basic uh, uh, HTML file I got an unordered list and I created a list item which are blank right at this point and I got uh, one two three four I, I got six uh, list I or seven list items here so when I go to the styling sheet I'm just basically uh, styling the body uh, I'm giving it a background color of black and then uh, now I'm going to style the unordered list tag, and um, I'm position. Uh, and what I'm doing is this unordered list. I want to center it within my web page. So basically, I go uh, uh, from the top uh, margin. I'm going to come down 50%, and from the left area, I'm going to go over 50%. As you can see here. And then basically the transform uh, property with the translate function, I'm going to even center it even more within the web page. So that's what I'm doing uh, here. Uh, now I'm going to style the uh, list item within the uh, unordered list tag. So basically list a style property, I'm assigning it none. In other words, when you create an unordered list, with list items it's automatically going to give you a bullet right next to the list item so I'm gonna remove those bullets that's what this does so now I'm creating a width and a height of 400 pixels width by 50 pixels high so basically I'm this area right here is what I'm, I'm doing I'm creating a width and a height right here I'm creating a background color of white, which is this, and then just the transition effect that I'm going to give it. So whenever it paints the screen, it's going to uh, give it a slight delay in painting it. Now I'm going to do, uh, what I'm doing is uh, on these next uh, few items here is there's an nth child uh, studio selector and basically what this does is you can either assign it a number or you could sign it uh, even or odds so in this case I'm doing an even and odd with it so basically if you, we go back to the index we have these list items here and there are so many here so the nth child is going to determine how many it's going to go through here and cycle through these and it's going to determine what's even and what's odd between them so if I come back here what I'm doing on the even ones which is as you can see two four and six I'm gonna uh, uh, style it this way so basically what the transform property does if I uh, assign it the skew X function watch what it does I'm going to change these numbers from 20 degrees 
as you can see it already changed it over here see how it skewed it a little bit okay so I'm gonna skew it say 50 see what it does to the even ones it skews it even more uh, gives it a slant effect so I'm gonna keep it as 20 degrees so it evens up with the odd ones so even if I uh, let's go to back to 50 degrees I would also have to change this uh, let's see uh, by minus 50 let's see what it does out of curiosity see it evens it up even more so basically it gives it a slant of each list item the width and the height of each each one so you you can play around with the effects on that and then the, what the linear gradient does it gives it basically a, um, a, a color gradient effect as you can see this used to be all white and it just gives it a slight gradient effect on the top here it's a it's color this and it uh, and you could set the degree of it see what it does see it change it back to completely white over here on the even ones let's do zero see what it does let's do one gives it an even uh, darker let's go back to two even darker five even darker so you could play around with this litter gradient and for the nth child for the odd one it also does the same thing it just it it, it, it styles the odd list items here so one three five and seven now basically what this studio selector does which is the hover uh, so whenever the user hovers over the unordered list tag it's gonna transform it back to zero basically it's not gonna skew these edges here that you he have here so it's gonna skew it to zero degrees so if I change this to five watch what happens when I hover over it see how it skews it it gives it a slight uh, slant here so I'm going to go back to zero so it gives it a straight effect like the shade is all um, closed so basically that's what uh, this does and how you could create a fold and unfold effect um, on your web page I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you today and I'll look for more videos on CSS, HTML, and many other topics uh, with tools that I use for web development. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you subscribe and hit the bell notifications, you'll always be notified of when I upload a new video. Thanks again for stopping by. And I'll look into the description below for uh, where I get my ideas. Thanks a lot. Bye now.